My name is Charmin Park, and then I'm honored to be here to give a presentation about CXL and UCIE that are coming up as a new standard for the industry. Okay. I'm working for Samsung, and I, I am driving new business planning team. Thank you. Okay, let me talk about Compute Express Link, aka CXL which is a backbone driving the era of heterogeneous computing. Okay, the fast growing workload of AI. We all know that and then and then pleasantly surprised that the workload that we are running AI and the data set of AI is exploding. Okay, which requires smart devices and the hyper-connected networks and the super intelligent services to be able to deal with explosion of the data and the explosion of the market's need and the people's expectation of what the smart computing needs to do in solving our problem. Okay, so AI is not only the workload, but it is a driving force of changing our system architecture for the future. Okay. In a way, we used to have CPU as a central device that takes care of all this compute and the connectivity of the subsystem among memory, storage devices, accelerator, and network cards. Now, we are at the tipping point of changing the structure of architecture that used to be dominated by CPU into the situation that interface is going to be a essential and critical piece that connects everything. Among CPU and the memory that could be disaggregated and accelerators that could be software defined and the storage pools that we all wanted to take care of those workloads and the provide services for diversified demands, as well as connect them to the, to the network. In a way, these infrastructures are specialized in handling, ever exploring the demand for the AI, artificial intelligence, and the machine learning capabilities. Okay. As we talked about the fabric and interconnect of subsystem is becoming a central piece in being able to handle the workload that are coming up as a demand from customers and people and industry. Okay. In a way, you know, from a from a very low level in a package, the way we build SOCs differently from the traditional way by having multiple different heterogeneous SOCs in one package, okay? And, and then different packages connected via uh, CXL-like fabric that is cache coherent and very flexible in handling IO workload as well. And which can be scaled up as a level of data center, scale interconnect. And we are hoping those kind of very flexible and scalable concept can be applied to connect even between data center or customers and us as users of those computes. CXL is quickly becoming the de facto interface as a solution for the era of artificial intelligence and the new uh, workload and the use cases. By having different protocols in one unified interface, cache currency, which has been the connection and the protocol in between among cores, CPU cores, and the point to point that has been the connection in between different sockets of CPUs. And, the, and then CXL provides by addressable capabilities that is very critical for 
existing software polling model, as well as scalable in handling, exploring the data, say, data size, and low latency. These are key features of CX interface that is enabling us being able to handle and provide providing compute capabilities for the exploring the AI workload. The, one of the first implementation of CXL technologies is coming into from the implementation of if we can attach traditional memory with a CXL interface. Okay. It, the benefit of doing it is that we are providing bigger capacity of main memory and the higher bandwidth of memory and the more flexible and manageable the pool of memory to different computational engines need that are CPU and GPUs and smart NIC and accelerators. We are now seeing and about to become a mainstream of how the memory gets connected with different compute engines via CXL's capability. Okay, CXL is providing very unique capability to CPU. In a way, one CPU used to have a limit of amount of terabyte that can be connected to one CPU. One of the most recent implementation of memory that was enabled by CXL Fabric can enable us to provide the double the capacity of the memory space to one CPU. Example that we see in the picture is from eight terabyte per CPU of one of the most recent implementation of CPU and then DRAM design to 16 terabyte per CPU of memory can be provided with a combination of DDRs and the six attached memory. Okay. And then this is this is significantly increasing the system memory capacity and it is providing twice the bandwidth of memory access because CXL is connecting the memory through CXL ports. And then, and then CXL has a potential to provide us better reliability, availability, and serviceability, and security because CXL controller and specification is uniquely defined to provide those functions. Sometimes, because the capacity of DRAM that you have in the system, uh, the bigger the problem can arise because uh, the DRAMs are not designed to provide that much of capacity. But the, the, the way CXL manages those big pool of DRAM capacity we can stay assured such a way DRMs are going to be very reliably serviceable to workload. CXL is beyond the hardware implementation because CXL provides flexibility in attaching the memory. So, and, and then CXL provides different way of tier the memory spaces that CPU can ma manage or can take advantage of, okay? So uh, there are uh, many different efforts from the industry to provide the best experience in using CXL and the DRAM heterogeneous memory provided to one CPU. One of the implementation is we see that this from this uh, this slide is that SMDK scalable memory development kit that provides unified software interface to manage memory subsystem 
that is enabled by DDR, which is traditional and conventional way that we can provide the memory space to CPUs and plus CXL attached memory. Okay. Memory SMDK is developed and optimized for heterogeneous memory subsystem. In a way, it provides very easy way to integrate heterogeneous memory devices. And, it, and then it also provides very intelligent tiering, such a way application can choose different workloads into different memory space in between DRAM and then CX attached memory. And then SMDK is aware okay, where the memory is allocated and then how the memory gets used, how the, the bandwidth is provisioned. So it has a potential to accelerate the data service and it is open source effort. And the SMDK is developed to provide better experience of CXL based memory module and industries early access to the CXL technology. Okay, let's move on to Universal Chiplet Interconnect Express, which is one layer below of CXL that provides the way that we can build open silicon ecosystem on package innovations. Gordon Moore, who was the inventor of Moore's law, even had predicted 60 years ago, it may prove to be more economical to build large systems out of smaller functions that are separately packaged and interconnected. We've enjoyed monolithically implemented silicon space past 50 years. Now we are transitioning ourselves into the ways that we can assemble our architecture and implementation of functions done via different chiplets and, and then advanced package technologies. Okay. And, and then the, the one of the most recent, most rec most recent uh, effort that industry put their, themselves together, okay, is that called UCIE, Universal Chiplet Interconnect Express. It is an open platform on a package that requires, that, that enables very high speed and standardized chip to chip, to chip interface and and the ways that, that that can be demonstrated to provide cookbook of how to best integrate different functions and different silicons into a product space easier and quicker than ever. The picture on the left shows C of cores that are all heterogeneous CPUs and GPUs and the stacked memories and the IO devices can all be integrated, integrated on package and implemented, done, implemented by UCIE standard specification. Okay, and that this one, it enables all of us to provide more functions. Sometimes they can be easily limited by the, the, the limit of vertical size and then provide the better time to market and, and, then, and then which ends up resulting as a lower and might be lowest portfolio cost. Okay. Only the imagination is your limit. Okay. And then the specification the UCIE was, was thought out and the built from the get-go to provide the best cook the ways that we can assemble different functions and then silicons on a package. In a way, it provides different performance and very flexible bandwidth density, okay? And optimized for the best energy efficiency and the latency. And it provides different 
different ways that we can drive shorelines in a way best reliable and the best available. And, and the cost in mind, in a way standard driven, the ways to implementation is going to provide you the best economy of scale and supply chain issue it can be very easily managed because all silicon pieces are done and, and then done through the standard interface specification. Such a way, your backend uh, verification and validation can easily be done uh, through the standard and certified way. Okay, so UCIE was initiated by Intel. In a way, Intel started the consortium and specification by donating the initial specification. Okay. The focus of UCIE 1.0 specification is physical layer and the protocol that supports CXL and PCIe for a near-term volume attached. And then if we follow through UCI specification, then you as implementer and us as solution provider are going to have the ways done through standard in building CXL and PCI connected chiplets. And it's just a starting of the journey, okay? And then um, we are hoping and expecting other protocols are going to come along. For example, now the UCIE is, is better serving IO space connectivity, but significant players at the memory space can drive memory specifications into a UCI standard in a way, um, uh, most innovative way of putting the packages together from, from the current implementation of putting silicon side by side, evolving into 2.5D, which is mixing and matching of different dyes at the different uh, height on the package, or uh, even directly overlaying different uh, silicons on top of the other silicon, which is 3D technology and integration. The usage model supported by UCIE is almost limitless because the flexibility that UCIE provides is connecting pretty much all different silicon architectures into one standard. Memories can be attached with CPU core tires. CPU core tires can be attached with IO devices. And CPUs can be integrated with GPUs on a, on a same package. And CCIE is even defining the ways that silicon components can be connected with optical interface. Okay. It covers very wide range of usages from handheld to high-end servers. Your cell phone can be implemented, can have a silicon and package implemented by UCI specification. And the scales all the way up to within the rack of data center or in between the racks of data, sub, data center server systems. In the, even between between aisles that are going to be connected by optical interface that offered by UCIE standard. It is an exciting moment because 10 different industry giants are putting their efforts together, taking initiatives, 
and then and driving the standard. And then summary that what you know the UCI can offer is that leaders in semiconductors and packaging, IP suppliers, foundries, and cloud service vendors are putting efforts and initiatives together to drive silicon technology even for the future and accelerate it in a way experience or putting those functions together is going to be easier than ever. As we speak, UCIE 1.0 specification is ratified and published. New open standard establishes an open chiplet ecosystem and ubiquitous interconnect at the package level. And UCIE just started and, and then uh, the, the consortium is welcoming anyone who are interested in participating and influencing the shared influence toward the future of the industry, the ways to go. Thank you.